Okay. We are here. Another week has flown by. Of course, I say the same thing all the time. Oh, man. Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. And uh, I am here at the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey uh, with uh, my co-host and mentor, the one and only, the uh, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling? Good. How are you feeling this week, sir? I guess you I answered. I had an extreme fall this week. He fell and he hit the uh, the bathtub. His upper arm whacked into the bathtub, and he was lucky not to have a broken arm. Exactly. You weren't even taking bumps in a pro wrestling ring. You you just fell in the. Uh, not that he was a wrestler, but. Uh, hey, I had my share, of Backlund man. Bob Backlund. So all right, so uh, it is um, the fifth. I the think month it is. of the Ides of March, Coming or is up. it starch? Coming up. Starch. The month of starch. The uh, uh, March goes in like a, a lion and comes out like a lamb. Something like that. Yeah, I think. I so. say this every year when March rolls around. In like a lamb, out like a lion. But uh, I will say this. Um, yeah, anything can happen in March, weather-wise. Um, but I will say this. Um, uh, come March 17th, if the same thing occurs that happened the past couple of years and nobody has all-you-can-eat, good quality brisket, corned beef, and cabbage. I have my own. A nice big one that I got, and I'm going to make my own. For the first time, I'm going to make my own corned beef and cabbage at home, and I'm going to mm -hmm. eat it until I bust. I'm going to create my own corned beef and cabbage uh, buffet for St. Patrick's Day, and that's that. And uh, I even got a... Uh, a ShopRite has a sale on Irish soda bread as soon as you walk into the to the store. Mm. If you ever had, I, it's like a giant scone. Mm. To be honest with you, it's like it's like it, it's a, it's the size and shape of a fresh baked whole wheat bread. It's round, but it's a a huge scone. Okay, it has the raisins and and the powdered uh, whatever flour or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. Anyway, I I like it. I don't like sweet desserts. I like bland desserts. I'm not into. Uh, That's a dessert. Sweet. I don't know what it is. Irish soda bread is a dessert. I'm not too well, sure about that. Well, to me, it is because there is some raisins in it, but yeah. there is there is some sugar in Irish soda. Ah, some light though. I mean, it's not you know sweet as hell like a, like a, a baklava. Uh, or a or a cannoli, you know, but uh, or actually a biscotti has got a lot of carbs too. Yeah, biscotti. That's why I, I eat the mild one if, if if during holidays, the one with all the sesame seeds on the outside. It's oblong and it has a lot loaded with sesame yeah, seeds. Right. It's not as sweet as the other. One. But anyway, yeah, anyway, we're getting too frivolous with our conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got. A lot of heavy-duty things to say. First of, all, first of all, first, first off, I'm only going to give greetings to those that care about me and my show and respect us. There are people out we, there. We have there, people like that. There are people. <laughs> there are people out there. There are people that respect the show. That that are progressives or who claim to be progressives who are actually, some of them are very dedicated progressive warriors. I have to admit, they're good. But I have to also say that they are narcissistic egomaniacs because they post everything on their own page, their own profile. They do not contribute to my ever-growing large political group called uh, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth, which is on Facebook. They don't contribute to my largest group, which is Holistic Health Talk, which is on Facebook. They think they're going to get discovered. They ha 
uh, uh, way before old James O over here, let me tell you something. They got no pizzazz. They have no charisma whatsoever. They have, they have bland personalities and a bland face. They may have a good face for radio, but let me tell you something. They don't hold a candle to me and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, who uh, can't hold a candle unless he's pouring hot wax on some lady's nipples. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Levity bells. By the way, my other hotel bell broke because I got it at a dollar store, but the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's supplier of props, professional props, from the West Coast, I got a new hotel bell. Loud, louder, crisper, uh, heavy duty. I love it. Listen. Run. Oh, now that's that's a beautiful sound. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my uh, my Blackthorn Shillelagh is ready to connect with the skulls of teabaggers and Republicans and sell out traitorous. Hold on. I would love to, if this was a living entity, I would hit this too. But anyway, um, traitorous, sellout, blue dog, democrats that are on the take and we know who they are. All right, now. By the way, before you forget. I know, you're going to say something. There is a debate tomorrow night. Now listen to this debate, all right? And tomorrow, Sunday, it is going to be on Fox News with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And since it's on Fox, you know they're going to try to instigate a knockdown, drag out, no holds barred battle between Hillary and Feel the Burn. And um, let me start because I got stuff. I got stuff, man. Always good to have stuff. Remember Buff Bagwell, the wrestler on uh, WCW? Buff has the stuff. Uh huh. Okay, he's still coming to the ring with a top hat, black top hat. Had, Whoa. Pic had a picture of himself on the top, and then when he used to lean forward, he would he had a smiling a of face of himself. Yeah, it was funny. Uh -huh. Very funny gimmick. Uh -huh. All right. First, I want to do some bashing. I want to do some uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame bashing. Shame on you, Norton Security. You're a big ripoff and a scam. I have first-hand knowledge by our IT director and, and technician. All they did, all they did for him was remind them that he had to keep on renewing the Norton. And they did nothing but pester him, telling him constantly every little thing that's going on in his computer. And it did not catch one Trojan or one virus, nothing. He actually has superior results with all the free uh, internet security uh, out there that is available on the internet. Uh, for free. You can go to filehippo.com and you can see them. They all apprehended apprehended the Trojans and the uh, uh, computer possible co uh, computer viruses, everything. All the above and the uh, what is it, the Adaware and the and the malware and the uh, Tupperware and uh, <laughs> what's it? Uh, um, what is that? that uh, uh, malware bites. Yeah, yeah, the um, that other term they use. Um, well, I'm, I'm talking about a real, um, a real adware program. Anything adware, anything unwanted that comes into your computer, the free programs intercepted them. Um, spyware. I was thinking of that word. I, you know, spyware too. Anyway, shame on you, Norton. But what else is new in the capitalist system of the United States of America, right? Um, I want to bash Acer computers, desktop computers with the with the, the Pentium CPU. You suck. Wow. 
You suck. You're slow. What the hell? The Pentium, you know? I mean, come on. Uh, a, a friend of mine has one. That it, everything's freezing up on him. Everything, all the navigation online is taking forever. You know, the Windows 10, uh, the little blue wheel just keeps on going around and around and around and around. He's wa he, he waits forever. The thing freezes up. And he has a, a, a decent high-speed uh, cable modem. Unless Optimum is deliberately slowing down their internet speed so they sucker people into upgrading to their fiber optics account. Anything's possible in the unethical, dishonest capitalist system, which has, which there's nothing about it that's that's honest at all. I, I was doing some serious thinking. It's all about deception, Reverend Bill. The capitalist system is pure deception. Okay. Well, it's pure deception if people understand it from their point of view and think that it's a. Uh, a, a a good economic system. It's not. It's no. an economic system which is geared to those who already have. And, and therein lies your problem. And you know what? Um, if somebody, if you're getting into a debate with a teabagger, they, they'll never understand this, but with social programs helping the poor and the poor having money in their pocket that they didn't have before, including food stamps, they put that money back into the economy, either by, uh, they have to spend it all in, their, in, in, in on food. Mm -hmm. So the markets make money from food stamps. And uh, spending money from social programs, which only make up like one to two percent of the total budget, really, you know, but a teabagger would think that it's like they, they believe the lies that it makes up the largest portion of the budget which is uh, military waste and bloat. 57 percent. 57 percent. But they all that money in the pocket of the poor folk goes back into the economy to right. further stimulate it. So you know. Um, it's the old story how many refrigerators can the rich buy? The rich do not spend as much money as the poor and no. the middle class. No, no, hell no. Simple and, as that. And and if you if you have experts really analyze the flat tax that and the consumption tax that Republicans want, and they, and they want to do away do away with the IRS, of course, it it arrange, the way it turns out at the end is that the rich pay even less taxes than they're paying now. And we pay more. And the middle class pays more. Yeah. So, all right. Um, okay, I want to say shame on you to the oil-rich countries of the Middle East, like Kuwait, for exploiting uh, workers from the Philippines, poor people from the third world country of the Philippines are, are, get, are receiving a maximum because sometimes it's less. A maximum of a lousy 100 US dollars per week. Okay, I found this out. You know how much money countries like Kuwait have to throw around, or any of those countries, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, whatever. Uh, they have, they are filthy rich, and they pay these poor souls a lousy 100 US dollars per week yep. and uh, if you throw this up to their face they'll, they'll probably say it's a lot more than they'll ma they're making in the Philippines but guess what I blame the employment agencies in the Philippines for hooking them up with these exploitive jobs in the uh, oil rich country so they're probably taking a commission and just sticking people there, you know. Uh, of course. And then, of course, they'll throw it up to your face. Oh well, you're making more money than you did before. Yeah. Well. You know, that's like uh, a, a Barbara Bush saying, "Hey, you should be thankful you're, you're sleeping in the, in the Superdome yeah. uh, football field. It's a step up for you." Yep, yep, yep. Let them eat cake. It's just a, a, a you know, just it's same a, old, same it's old, same old, feeble excuse. Thank yeah. you. Now.
Bill Clinton, super mega chiseless hall of shame. Shame on you, you goosenecked, uh, a bulbous red nosed uh, corporatist. Talk about sellout uh, corporatist, blue dog Democrats. Bill Clinton showed up at four separate polling area, areas, I believe in the uh, Boston metropolitan area. The mayor of Boston allowed him to do this. He naturally caused a, a, a public scene which prohibited people from voting in the Massachusetts primary. Uh, or, and it made it very difficult to get through the crowds. Four separate polling areas, what he did is illegal. But, the state, of, but yeah. the state of Massachusetts claims he did not do anything wrong. Mm. And so I smell cronyism and uh, uh, favors, paid for favors. Favoritism, yeah. Pay, paid, paid for favors that are paid for. I, I have a feeling that the super PACs, uh, I, I think, I think behind, behind closed doors, all this is planned to do everything they possibly can between, you know, the campaign. You okay? That's it. <laughs> I thought you croaked on me. The campaign. Um, uh, contributors, super PACs for Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton and her husband. I think they're all, they've all planned every which way possible, including the mainstream corporate controlled media, to prevent Bernie Sanders from getting the nomination and the, uh, the election. And of course, they don't. They don't know well, now they're mentioning Bernie Sanders name more because they kind of have to because he's he's you know there's a, a hell of a lot more people feeling the burn nowadays and he's like uh, coming out with the big gun. excuse me God bless you he's coming wow. out with the big guns I, I hope he comes out with the big guns tomorrow against Hillary and stop treating her with kid gloves like a, like the perfect gentleman well, uh, he is, yeah he is our only rival you know I mean got to be mentioned. Oh yeah, what a doubt. But uh, like but, CNN, they deliberately don't want to mention him. But yeah. hey, you know you got to What what is uh, Hillary Clinton running against the ghost? Yeah, you got to uh, mention. Uh, him. What's your take on what Bill Clinton did? In, in it's illegal in Massachusetts. Okay, all right. That's all. That's all you have. To it's say. electioneering. That's what it's called. Electioneering. Electioneering. Is that is that as bad as gerrymandering or is it? No, the, gerrymandering is 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 mapping out areas. That okay. has not, this is electioneering. In the old days they used to go in and tell you who to vote for. That was electioneering and that's what he's doing. He's not supposed to be in the room. He can be outside I believe but he cannot be inside. He was electioneering. Oh, he went inside too? Yes, he went inside the room. So he was in and oh, not at them. Oh, he was in them. Oh, underhanded tactics, uh, Slick Willie. Underhanded tactics. Yeah. Now, I saved the best for last. Should have been arrested on sight. It's amazing how uh, certain people have clothing of Teflon. That uh, no, they're not held accountable. Nobody's held mm. accountable these days anymore. You see anybody going to jail from Wall Street? No. Okay. And, and and all these people online that claim I have I have the dirt to totally bring down this other person. Mm. All right. I you know, I can I I can blow the whistle on this person on Hillary. I got so much dirt on Hillary, blah 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 blah. Threats, statements. Don't just talk about it. If you really have the dirt just do it. Do it. Let's see it, man. Don't just make claims and statements uh -huh. to to the online media, to uh, 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 people interviewing you. Just do it. Surprise everyone. Surprise. I just brought down Hillary's campaign. Surprise. Do it. If you really want to do it, you don't just... You know, get the publicity that you know so much. Well, they want their 15 minutes of fame. Or maybe That's they want their 15, to. maybe they want their 15 minutes of fame. You know. And see if Hillary's people pay them off to shut up. If they really have anything. If they really have anything. What I'm saying is, we if you don't, if you don't have to show it, 
you're just looking for your 15 minutes of frame right you know yeah like uh like the ugly big foreheaded uh kim davis remember her she she was really insignificant uh, 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 titsy fly in, in the, uh, the whole scheme of life. In the ointment of life. In the ointment of life. <laughs> the ah. ointment, the ointment. You know, yeah. but she, you know, she just loved that publicity mm -hmm. with her ugly mug. Uh, yep. And of course, old Ted Cruz looks more constipated than ever when he prays, you know. Who the hell does he pray to? I don't know. It's not a Christian from the Bible, his okay? Fa his so who the hell is he, he, he praying to? His crazy father. You, you, you could see the apple did not fall far from the tree. No, it didn't. His father, who is crazier than him. That's oh, true. He has a puffy face like the guy that does the eHarmony dating commercials. You know, he has the same way of talking. How's all puffy. that working out? What, eHarmony? Yeah. No, I, I don't... I don't the one, the new commercial, the one. Oh, it's nauseating. One girl says, it's nauseating. I'm on a, a dating service and something. How's that working out? How's that working out? Oh yeah, he right. says that. You get on D E Harmony. Well, now the match. Because uh, you don't want it to make all the. Uh, she don't want to fill out all that stuff. She want to fill out the uh, the questionnaire. Yeah. yeah. She said, do you want it? Do you want it fast or you want forever? Yeah. Hey, let me there tell you, you something. I I was told there's. No questions. There's nothing about hooking you up with somebody you're attracted to in terms of how they look. And as far as I'm concerned, physical chemistry comes way before friendship <laughs> and compatibility. And if you don't have the physical chemistry, you're going to end up just being buddies. You know. I mean. Hey, bud. I mean, I I I, I haven't seen a good-looking person on any eHarmony. Um, or match.com commercial but uh, anyway um, getting back to uh, yeah Bill Cl what Bill Clinton did was illegal people are just not held accountable now Chris Christie uh, seems to be uh, the Donald Trump shadow he's crawling up his ass it's obvious what he wants he wants to be the uh, his VP running mate VP Secretary of State or um, uh, what's the other one there's another job he wants yeah, bitch, little bitch. Well, that that he will be to get those jobs. <laughs> yes, exactly. And now, and now, supposedly uh, Hillary uh, stormed into or uh, walked into uh, the Oval Office huh? and told, uh, yelled at Barack Obama and used uh, the F word and telling him to call off your dogs, Barack, as she said. What dogs? No, the investigation that's going on for, oh. for with her emails. Oh yeah. He yes, says I can't are. do it. It's too late. I can't. I can't do. It. I can't call them off. I can't call them off. You know what? That's a good answer because I, I wouldn't want to see them be called off. I said that. That's a blessing, right? First of all, well, Donald well, Trump is a blessing for Bernie Sanders in disguise. Well, if they if they haven't been called off or etc., then there must be something there. Oh, of course there is. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. But she keeps saying there wasn't. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. What they've be... done is the guy who set up the server and etc. They've yeah. given him immunity, so that now he can testify. But they're bringing in people to okay. uh, under under oath, right? They're bringing people in well, to the, that, interview. That guy, Pagliani or whatever. Yeah, who, like whoever whoever really knows about these emails, exactly. they're, they're all being uh, um, consoled with. Uh, console. Yeah, yeah, um, that's it. Okay, good. now listen to this very carefully. This is my last <coughs> section of the monologue. Um, um, this past uh, Super Tuesday, two million five hundred thousand, two and a half million more voters showed up for the Republicans, the GOP, then for the Democrats on Super Tuesday. Two and a half million more more voters showed up to vote for Republicans than the Democrats. Well, this well, is very, very, very... A bad sign. It's a bad sign. It's pathetic. Um, it shows that uh, you're not really 
you people that go to the rallies and jump up and down and, and scream that you feel the burn and you're, you're mad as hell and you can't take it anymore and and uh, you know you're you're full of shit because if you don't vote then you're not part of the system you're not you're part of the problem actually you're you're not contributing you're uh, I'm not interested in what you have to say or how you feel don't complain on my on my Facebook groups about anything unless you vote that's my first question if you don't vote I'm not interested in hearing what you have to say this is bad this is pathetic and it shows that all the excited Millennials the young people that are feeling the burn are still not showing up at the primaries to vote okay shit or get off the pot don't get excited over over the uh, the election in 2016 don't get excited about Bernie's uh, grassroots revolution don't feel the burn it doesn't mean a fucking thing unless you vote you must vote okay if you don't vote you're nothing but a waste of sperm and if Democrats vote Republicans lose yes that because is there are more true. Democrats in this country than there right. are Republicans right. and 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 if you just want to talk shit on the on social media and you want to uh, 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 post all kinds of banners and, and you know, hey, I, I was at the rally, I feel yeah. the burn. Yes, grassroots revolution, bop it bop it bop And you don't vote? Then you are a piece of shit, a scumbag, a bullshitter. You have no integrity. Mm. Because the only way you could show your dedication is to vote, is to show up and vote. get out. And shame on you. The uh, the 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 southern states of the United States, the blacks in the southern states. Shame on you for voting for Hillary Clinton in the primaries in all the southern states, which she won. Because let me tell you something, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton. Um, these are blue dog corporatist Democrats. They don't feel your pain. They are they're therefore uh, they're not for programs that are going to help the minorities and um, help the poor. They're not. They're just not. Hillary Clinton has no doesn't want to bring back Glass Steagall. She doesn't want. She wants student lo uh, students to pay off their student loans. She wants you to pay for college. She uh, she doesn't doesn't sound like she wants to undo what her husband Bill did with Newt Gingrich when he gutted out the welfare system and totally oh, no, destroyed no. it. So she she is sounding like a Republican week by week. She's sounding more and more like a Republican. She is the probably the best Republican the Democratic Party ever had or seen. Um, and you know, I believe it was Grover Cleveland who once said, a former president back in the day, he says, America will receive exactly the kind of government it deserves. Mm -hmm. Americans will get the kind of government it deserves. Right. And if you don't participate, well, you only have yourself to blame. But it's a pattern, Reverend Bill. It's a pattern every time election comes. People talk so much shit on mm -hmm. on the internet, and they don't show up. I'm I'm talking about the so-called progressives. The nuts show up. 